Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to another show. Jim Hall, you ought to know, along with our executive producer. Joe Flores. Joe, we've got with us right here in the middle, Sir Francis Drake. So that means where could we be? The, the Renaissance, Renaissance Pleasure Fair, sir. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> yeah. well said, Joe. You beat me to it there. <laughs> <laughs> always looking for a, uh, a great hand or a full house, and always the queen will be along. Oh, of course, indeed. And speaking of filling a hand, uh. in tradition's name, you must take the sword in the same as you have done for many a year to welcome everyone here. Yes, and I do welcome you to this year's Renaissance Pleasure Fair at the Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area. We're in Irwindale, California, everybody. Sir Francis. Indeed, you, indeed. Were you jealous? Or I wasn't going to stop Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just got a microphone here. Yeah, there we go. An and entire look, day of play. This is going to be a great show. We hope you're going to stay with us. We've got some exciting things happening. In fact, we've got one of the, our pleasures. We've got uh, good spirits to drink. We're going to taste some of yes. that. We it's also have well. some great food that we're going to partake of. And we will, in fact, meet the queen. God save the queen, she will be here at the stroke of noon this day with all her court in grand array. There you are. Stay with us, everybody. We've got more to come right here, simply because you, you ought to know. know. Stay with us. Bob, I'm a French bull. <laughs> wow, a French bull, huh? Oui. You must be lonely so far from home. So lonely. Lucky for you, Diane here speaks fluent French. Salut, mon ami. Avez-vous habité en Paris? I do. Nuts. <laughs> Bonjour, ladies. Forget it, dude. <laughs> Great milk comes from happy cows. Happy cows come from California. At Ozell's, there's never been a better time to cash in on your old gold and silver. Gold is at record prices, and Ozell's will give you the best price for your scrap gold jewelry, rings, coins, bracelets, whatever. Bring it in and walk out with cash today. Looking for that beautiful diamond ring or jewelry? Ozell's is a direct diamond importer and has the largest selection to choose from. Ozell's can custom design your jewelry and even make repairs while you wait. Ozell's has three locations, Palm Desert, Rancho Cucamonga, and Victorville, adjacent to the Mall of Victor Valley. Ozell's, open daily. Does your child have asthma? Did you know asthma attacks can be triggered by things like shower curtains? A child's blanket? Even a teddy bear? Help prevent your child's asthma attacks. Call 1-866-NO-ATTACKS or visit noattacks.org to get the latest information and avoid the emergency room. I don't want to feel like a fish with no water. Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And you see behind us there, we are, of course, uh, joined by Sir Francis Drake. And behind us, as we're visually looking back here on the porch, what do we have back there? Oh, it's the bell, a, uh, a gentleman's comfort club, may I say. Comfort <laughs> club, yes, I see. I don't see any golf clubs. Uh, oh, well, it's the sort of club that gives comfort to every gentleman. There you go, okay. <laughs> All right, hole in one back there. Four. Uh, yeah, a whole new meaning. Sir Francis Drake, you've been with us on the show before here. Year after oh, year, indeed. we've been out here at the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, and people continually tell us as they watch the show, we get emails, all these new fancy things about, we didn't know there was a Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Talk about the history of the fair, would you? Well, we are back in our favorite county, Los Angeles, where 52 years ago, the fair began. Of course, there are Renaissance fairs all over the country now, yes. but that very original piece of outdoor art began in this county 52 years ago. And that would have been Agora Hills. Yes, it there, would right? have been, yes. And you've been with the fair how long? Uh, 47 years, sir. I am a very slow study. Okay. <laughs> well, as I know, uh, historically, uh, you have this thing down. Because when uh, we talk about Sir Francis Drake, 
the history of Sir Francis Drake. Talk a little bit about Sir Francis Drake, the person, who you are. Oh, well, I came on this very coast uh, and sailed up this coast, claiming all in Her Majesty's name and taking a great treasure of 26 tons of silver, 80 pounds of gold aboard, almost as much wealth as you possess. Yes. And, of course, the Queen will call us forth this day at the stroke of noon to make an accounting for this great treasure's voyage. Now, when you talk about this history that you've been on as you sailed this mighty coast, long before this was a country. Aye. Uh, Sir Francis Drake is something that school kids now learn in the third grade, in the fourth grade, and we're hoping that they continue through history to learn here at the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, because it's more than just fun. There is a lot of history here, true? Of course, it's living history. We have a thousand members of the cast bringing to life the members of Her Majesty's Court, the military, as you hear in sport, the peasants of the day, all this on display as it would have been at a market day during Her Majesty's reign. Well, during that reign, Her Majesty the Queen, now as you make progress for the Queen, you claim uh, the fair land, uh, portions of the coast and gold and, and its prosperity for all in na the name of the Queen. I indeed, we were here on the coast for some 35 days, put a great uh, brass plate on a firm post and claimed this coast for Her Majesty in the summer of 1579. What a year it was. Ah, uh, yeah, what a year it was, and to bring <laughs> home such a treasure for the Queen and to be ruled by a woman. Aye. Now talk about that history, the Queen, the uh, people that we have involved here. Sir Francis Drake, one of the names we know. Talk about others that play a part in this magnificent history. Oh, indeed, Sir Walter Raleigh will be there, okay. Sir Martin Frobisher, one of our finest explorers and sailors, and uh, many members of the court, her serving uh, staff of the day, all of this there as she brings herself in great progress on this road, the Queen herself. Well, and if she makes that progress, how many people does it take to make and prepare the way for the Queen? Oh, over 150 and uh, 75 of those of the military all gathered to raise good cheer and ensure her safety here. Well, and as they do that, as she makes progress, the Queen does this on a daily basis numerous times as the invited public now, guest of this fine facility, will be able to view and see the Queen make that progress, what, three times a day, is it? Oh, indeed, she is on the ground throughout the entire day, and even the smaller children will be knighted by her hand late in the day. She goes to the joust to uh, be entertained there by the show of the men in armor in the joust in the battle that day. And then, of course, there's got to be a feast. A great feast. There are a hundred foods to put to tooth. You would join us last year. I did. What? fine taste did you have here? I had, I think, a three and a half pound turkey leg, <laughs> followed by a, th I think I had what was called a pork chop on a stick. Hey, hey, very popular indeed. And of course I had one of the finest ales to be had in the land. Oh, indeed, we have ales and good uh, ciders and rib-sticking beer, all of it to, to be enjoyed here. And on the final weekend of the fair, we honor the craft uh, brewers there. All of the brewers join us. And then they have what's called that pub fest. Oh, my gosh, you've got a visitor here. Uh, there are many visitors here, and we are all the better for it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is your name, young lady? My name is Elsa. I'm visiting from Bavaria, yeah. Bavaria. Yeah. That's where, Bavaria, yeah. is that where the cream pies come from? Aye, indeed, and other such sweet pastries for the day. Yeah. What a beauty to meet on our way. Absolutely. Well, we're going to make progress ourselves through the fair. What should I look for out here today? Oh, uh, look for your putting your own hand to the game this day. Throwing javelins, are you a javelin man? I am. Throwing axes, or throwing a... Uh, uh, knives, or pistol bowls, cannons, there are a chance to put your own hand to the sport and to the dance and to raise a cheer for anyone who would greet you I'm here. I'm ready for that. I'm ready for that. All right. Show us that fine weapon that you I carry. I shall put it to your hand. And here it is again. As Indeed, I hold this. A good broadsword, not as dangerous as a woman with good teeth, yes, but will suffice. But I want you to note that gutter rail there, that uh, blood gutter rail. blood gutter yes, makes there it a is. larger hole in the man. He bleeds to death <laughs> the quicker. <laughs> That's what it's about, <laughs> and we're going to do that. Stay with us, everybody. We're right here at this year's Renaissance Pleasure Fair in Irwindale, 605 Freeway at the 210, simply because thank you for being with us. Oh, my pleasure as always, sir. Because you ought to know. More yet to come.
When Manuel Ortiz had a dream of owning his own restaurant, he chose the finest quality foods and fresh ingredients to serve to his customers. Now the family tradition continues at El Pescador Family Restaurant in Victorville. Come join family and friends and enjoy our friendly hospitality. Start with our fabulous breakfast, cook to order and serve daily, or enjoy one of our many lunch specials during the week. Our kids' menu has a huge selection to satisfy any youngster. For dinner, try our carne asada, taco platter, steak picado, or combination plates. Or enjoy our legendary seafood platters including salmon, lobster, camarones el pescador, caldo seven mares, and more. Complete your meal with any of our famous desserts made to order. We also have a banquet or meeting room for your private event. We are located at 14366 at Star Drive next to Midway, near Costco in Victorville. El Pescador. Tell me my favorite story. Once upon a time, a girl had a secret playmate. Who lived in a castle in cyberspace. And they downloaded megabyte after megabyte. Which took a gig and half a memory. At three million bits per second. And that was 60 times faster than their old dial-up. By age 12, too many girls lose interest in math and science and their chance at most future jobs. Keep her interest alive. Could we read Alice in Numberland? <laughs> it's her future. Do the math. Introducing World of Color, where stories of wonder burst to life on majestic fountains of color and light. Oh. Only at the Disneyland Resort. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know, along with our executive producer and on-host talent this time. Joe, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. Because you're going to be doing a lot more of these shows uh, as we expand our programming. We know Andrew's out there somewhere doing Retro right. Rocket, which you see on the channel. Right. And Yeah, it is really good. Yes. And uh, Joe's got SoCal Dude. Top hits. And the top hits are really, you've expanded that to include uh, some, some really neat people might remember call it classic or some favorites but right. you put some stuff in there that people say that's a hit I want to hear it right I yeah we it. take requests right there on the Facebook page SCD hits uh, on Facebook yeah and uh, send in your request we'll give you the shout out we put the song on for you so, all right yeah well one time. of my favorite things is Italian food and with us <laughs> <laughs> mama introduce yourself you're mama I am a mama Fusilli and this is my husband Buongiorno, I'm a Dono Giuseppe Lorenzo de Conanzano but only the Conzano. Customs inspect to the Port of Deford. It goes on. Mm. It's going to stop. See, si, see. Si. So welcome to Deford. It's <laughs> nice to see you. Well, thank you. It is very good to see you. And I must say, I love the dress. The, uh, grazie, this is grazie, grazie. This whole thing, you know, it's, it's, it's been in the closet. I just, put it on. <laughs> just dusted it off <laughs> and oh, decided to you know. give it. We like to try and fit in with the English fashion here, you know. Well, it's you all do. about a high fashion. You're a little behind, but we do what we can. Well, talk about the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, your involvement here. Well, I, I, I am, uh, what's it called, uh, I'm the customs inspector and uh, the um, uh, harbor master for the Port of Deford. Uh, we collect a lot of taxes. Lot of taxes. I was going to say, that sounded like tax collecting. There's, uh, there's uh, docking fees, uh, expedition fees, uh, the taller than us fee. I got to get in on this. <laughs> and then the more fees you collect, you know, the more shoppies you're going to do, because there's a lot of pretty shinies here in the Shire. Uh, yes. And a lot of sharp and pointies and so much oh, finery and so eat. much lovely food to eat. We got a manja too, you know. You know yes, just talk about manja. See. Si. Oh, dear. Oh, we like a shepherd's pie. We got a steak on a steak. We got a sin on a stick. Oh, that's a very much a carrot. 
You're going to have to find it. It's a frozen chocolate covered cheesecake. On a stick. On a stick. Because everything's better on a stick. So everybody can walk around, huh? See. Of course, you know, you've got the big turkey legs. See. We've got chocolate, the chocolate covered strawberries. You know, it's very nice. The ladies like that. You can get down on your knees in a wooden with the chocolate strawberries. And of course, the men will like the ale. There's a lot of ale stands. We gotta go visit the ale. Now I heard there was some actually delicacy out here. Frog legs. Oh, that's oh, something see, we're try. that's see, a see, true. true. And we got a beignets too. We got a the little. Beignets, I turn about what the Belgium, the Belgium, the Belgium, the Belgium one. The, 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 the beignets. Yes. It's, it's okay. kind of like what the English should call them. Um, it's kind of like a the, the flat the donut. 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 A donut. 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 We don't go to no hole. See, no. <laughs> no hole. No hole. There should be a tax. Hey, can we tax him for that one? Can we tax him for that? Okay, good, good. Never mind. <laughs> now, the Renaissance Pleasure Fair is something you've been doing for how long? Oh, well, we've been here just as long as the fair's been. This is our 52nd annual Renaissance Pleasure Fair, the original Renaissance Pleasure Fair, but here at your it, Santa Fe Dam. I've, I've been here uh, 70 years. I was sent here by uh, the Medici Court to learn a little bit about the English, and I uh, brought over my lovely wife. Um, um, Florentina. And, uh, so, see, for me, it's a, for me, it's a seven years. All right, then I have the uh, ultimate question, then, to learn a little bit about the English. I'm still learning my own a little bit about these English people. Oh, Tell well, me what you've learned, one of the so secrets, much. something I need to know. They eat a bad food. They eat a really uh. bad food. The English are the only people I know that will take the stomach of an animal, fill it with blood, boil it for a couple of days, and call it dinner. I think they call it a haggis? My blood, 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 oh, blood oh see, blood sausage. That one, one of our producers was off camera looking for haggis today. Mm, well, unfortunately, see, see. We, we don't have it. Well, we it's in the poor part of town. <laughs> see, you need to, you need to go see uh, the, what they call it, the clan of McCollin. They are there. They, 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 they it's come, they all the way to the see. back of the shire next to the joust. Oh, I got you. See. Now, the joust is something that will happen. See. Now, what do you guys think of the queen? Oh, hey. we love it, the we queen. She's the, the queen. most the queen the beauteous. Favorite person ever. Hey, she's got a beautiful jewel. Now, Giuseppe, he, he's got to pay taxes to her sometimes, you know, just a little portion of what we get. There are two people I do not collect the taxes from. See. There's, there's the Royal Navy and Her Majesty. Her I, Majesty has to get her cut. Of course. So, you know, that way she kind of leaves us alone. It's a protected the Majesty. See, see, see. It's just a little commission is all yeah, It's a very small commission to Her, to her Majesty the Queen. All right. Everybody's got to get a feast. Well, we are here at the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, and we are, Joe, this is uh, easy to find. Everybody should be able to find us in Irwindale now, where right. we're located. The, the, the Royal Route, the 605, and the Royal Royal Route, the 210, they come together, you can't miss it. So it's where the Americas come in Southern California. See, see, see. Yeah, you know, we're here before the Spaniards, they know nothing about it yet. So, you know, we're trying to make this a good English colony. We'll see what happens. All right, so we're here. Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area is where we are, the Renaissance Pleasure Fair, and we hope you're going to make a plan to join us here at this Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Enjoy the food, the facility, the, fe the festivities, the parties, and, of course, the Queen will be along, simply because... Like with all of our shows, you, you ought to know. know. More yet to come. Wildfires. Sun exposure starting in childhood is a major cause of skin cancer. That's why you should apply a high SPF sunscreen and keep your kids covered up whenever they're outside, not just at the beach or pool. Protect your children from the sun. They'll thank you for it someday. For our unique dining experience serving the best Mexican and Salvadorian food, visit Pancho's in Victorville. Each dish is prepared with the freshest ingredients and made to order. Yuca, pupusas, and sopa siete maris, mariscada, gallina india, and carne asada. Molcajete and fabulous desserts, live music every Friday night. Local lunchtime delivery Monday through Friday. Pancho's Mexican and Salvadorian restaurant on Victor Street next to the DMV.
Welcome back, everybody. Jim Hall, you ought to know. And we are at the, the Renaissance Hall. Pleasure Fair here at the Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area. 605 Freeway at 210. You need information, go to renfair.com. How many wanted to ever do a, what's called a pub crawl? And what is that? It's part of the Renaissance Pleasure Fair. And we're going to find out about pub crawl. What is it? You ready? We're going to join in the fun, see what's going on. Here, come on in, everybody. Pub crawl's getting ready to go, but we got to find out, what is a pub crawl? A pub crawl is a drinking fest. Oh, no. Drunken debauchery. See, I told you that's what it's silliness, about. Silliness. Outrageousness. Drinking silliness. And our motto, being rude, crude, and socially unacceptable. So how does it work? How does it work? How does the pub crawl work? How does a pub crawl work? The right? pub crawl, in essence, is a grand tour of our shire. We go to five, count them, one, two, three, four, five different ale stands, and we all get a beer, a cup of beer, approximately 60 ounces in about 90 minutes. <laughs> face down in the gutter is where we're at, face down in the gutter is where we belong, and face down in the gutter is where we aim to be. Now, there are certain rules that abound upon our fair shire. And you would say, what are the rules? Oh, by all means, help me out. What? What are the rules, Kenny? That works! Oh, Mountswell. <laughs> Those who want it, call me Mountswell. Indeed, very well spoken. Now, rule number one, we will have a certain level of respect for the people that are on stages that are plying their ways. They do this to make a living, and we will be compliant with them, and we will sneak by. Now, this is twofold. One, we're being respectful to the actors on stage. Two, we're trying to screw them up as bad as we can. Because the audience can't see us, but they can. So when we go by a, a, a stage, we will not scream at the top of our lungs, we are pub crawl, like we will all the way through the Shire, except when we're around stages. We will whisper, we are pub crawl. Everybody practice that? We are. I say the we are part, trust me. It's we are nice. And when we go by the stage, we sneak. Oh, we're sneaking. This sneak. will screw the actors sneak. over so badly they will break character and we will rule the day. <laughs> the audience can't see us. We're being respectful, correct? But we're also jacking with their day because one has to understand who we are. We are the pub crawl. We go by we and we go by us. The rest of the people here are simply they, them, and those. They have two things in common. One, they're not we and us. And two, they're in our way. <laughs> Hence my loud mouth, my large staff, and 35-some voices screaming at the top of your lungs to get them out of our way. And we will go to each and every ale stand. We have our own server. We have our own counter. So we will expedite our drinking as quickly as possible, and we will scoff at them like this, kicking dirt in their face at times because we're rude, crude, and sociably unacceptable. Now, occasionally we have a child, an obstinate little bastard, standing in the middle of the street, refusing to get the hell out of our way. What do we do in that case? I'm so glad you asked, young man. I turn around and simply say very loudly, what's the sound we make? One, two, three. Your response is simple. <laughs> In unison, no one has failed to run away. Yes, watching young children piss themselves quite literally in the middle of the street is a joy. Trust me, a true joy. Now, rules. We have our respect for our actors. Two. We have our respect for our women. Now, if you haven't quite noticed it yet, it's quite the boobalicious and hooterific time we have here. Things are pushed in, pushed up, and quite easily planted the head on. Now, this young lady hither is not exactly dressed. If you'd come forth, this hot, boobalicious, and hooterific young blonde is not exactly dressed in a traditional outfit, but you get the idea on what you need to be respectful of. If you decide you really want to lay hands on the woman, you must ask for her, for her permission. Thusly, my lady, excellent, well, rack. My terribly if I lay my hands upon that beauteous and freckled chest of yours. Yes. 
No, you're supposed to say no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's sort of a leading thing. Yes, when they say no, <laughs> just move on down the road. There's bound to be some trollop that'll let you lay hands all over her. However, since you did say yes, basically it's all for show, folks. So, la, 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 la. Big deal, boobage. Everybody else watching you do that is going to go, oh, my God. That's what we do here. If you don't ask, you may get the shib. Because most of our ladies are heavily armed, more so than the men are. Trust me, that's the serious part of that rule. Okay, yes, ask, have a good time, blah, 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 blah. But don't touch without asking, period, end of story. Or you could get hurt. If she doesn't, one of us will. Now, who's thirsty? <laughs> Shall we work on it? <laughs> we are! That's going to be everybody ready for the pub crawl. That's what's happening at the Santa Fe Dam Recreation Area because you ought to know. There they go. you're hungry for genuine, authentic Mexican food made with only the freshest ingredients, you're hungry for Paulina's Mexican Rio. Paulina's will stir up the spices in the kitchen while the world around you melts away in our romantic dining room. Every bite is like a little piece of heaven. Only certified Angus beef is served for the most tender and juicy steaks. We'll even make your favorite Mexican dish from our previously run specials not on our regular menu. No matter what the occasion make it special at Paulina's Mexican Grill, the best in the high desert. up on sex don't give up on birth control either there are more methods than you think find yours at bedsider.org <laughs> 